हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न कॉमर्स विथ नमिता आई एम नमिता माने इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कैपिटल बजेटिंग इन कैपिटल बजेटिंग वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू वेन देर आर टू इन्वेस्टमेंट और टू प्रपोजल इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू how to calculate net present value and profitability index okay so the link of that video you will find in the description box so this is the example on the screen a firm whose cost of capital is 10% is considering two mutually exclusive proposal x and y the details of which are as follow so this is the proposal x and this is pro proposal y so initial investment of both the projects are 15 lakh rupees then first year the cash inflow is 1 lakh for proposal x 6 lakh 50000 proposal y second year the cash inflow for proposal x is 2 lakh 50000 6 lakhs is for proposal y for third year the cash inflow is 3 lakh 50000 and for proposal y is 6 lakhs fourth year the cash inflow for proposal x is 5 lakh 50000 and for proposal y 5 lakh 75000 for fifth year the cash inflow is 7 lakh 50000 and for proposal y the cash inflow is 5 lakh 25000 so total of both the proposal x proposal is 20 lakhs and proposal y is 29 lakhs 50000 now you are required to calculate the net present value at 10% discount rate okay now what is the solution for this you have to prepare this table okay here then amount of proposal x amount of proposal y now this amount you will write as it is from the question itself for amount of proposal x and amount of proposal y okay now next we have to find the present value factor at 10% now how to calculate this present value factor i have explained you in my last lecture the link of that last lecture you will find in the description box so in this way you have to calculate the present value factor okay the formula for present value factor is 1 upon 1 plus r divided uh, raised to n okay so calculation of present value factor is explained in my last lecture so i have taken the present value factors as follows after considering the formula and the calculation now next we will find the present value of cash inflow of proposal x now how you will get amount of proposal x multiply it by present value factors okay so 1 lakh into present value factor that is 0.909 you will get 90900 next 2 lakh 50000 into present value factor for second year is 0.826 so you get 2 lakh 6500 next for third year 3 lakh 50000 into present value factor for third year is 0. 751 so we get the present value of cash inflow for proposal x for third year is 262850 for fourth year 550000 into 0.683 for fourth year the present value of cash inflow for proposal x is 3 lakh 75650 for fifth year 7 lakh 
into 0 0.621 we get 4,65,750 now add this total so we get 14 lakh 1650 the total of this now find the present value of cash inflow of proposal y see so how we will get this present value of cash inflow of proposal y by multiplying the amount of proposal y by present value factors for both the proposal the discount rate is 10 percent only so in case if the rates are different we have to find the present value factors okay and according to that we have to multiply 6 lakh 50 thousand 0.909 we get 5 lakh 90 thousand 800 850 then 6 lakhs into 0 0.826 4 lakh 95600 for third year 6 lakhs into 0 0.751 4 lakh 50600 then 5 like 75,000 into 0 0.683 we get 3,92,725 for fifth year 55,25,000 into 0 0.621 3 lakh 26,025 rupees. Now add all this. So total we get 22 lakhs 50, 55,800. So this is the total of proposal Y. Okay. Now put the values as per the formula. So we are going to find the net present value of proposal X. That is the formula is total present value of cash inflow minus initial investment. So the total present value of cash inflow of proposal X is how much? 14 lakhs. Fourteen lakhs. One thousand six fifty minus initial investment initial investment is how much 15 lakhs for proposal x we get the answer in minus 98350 okay now next we will find the net present value of proposal y so the total present value of cash inflow of proposal Y is 22,55,800 minus initial investment of proposal Y. The initial investment of proposal Y is 15, 15 lakhs. We get 7,55,000. 800 so the proposal y is the better investment option okay so in this way you have to calculate the net present value if there are two proposal or two investment okay thank you very much please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification